Hi, welcome to Surviving Schizophrenia with Steven. My name is Steven. I hope you're having a wonderful day. A few days ago, I went with my dad to Cal State Dominguez Hills University, where my mom was giving the commencement speech for their graduation. And in this video, you'll see how well I did there, as well as some pretty incredible speeches that I think are important and might be relevant to you. And if you're not interested in any of that, there will be chapters in the description down below to skip ahead to whatever you are interested in. With that said, enjoy the video. Hi, welcome to Surviving Schizophrenia with Steven. My name is Steven, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today, my dad and I are going to a graduation, and actually my mom is going to be speaking there, giving a speech. Right. Maybe I can fill in some more. Right, so this is a, uh, Maria um, is already over there at Cal State Dominguez Hills. That's California State University Dominguez Hills. And one of the colleges, I think it's CBAP, that she graduated from with her undergraduate degree, she's giving the commencement speech. And uh, we're excited. Uh, Maria's chair of the Philanthropic Foundation at Cal State uh, Dominguez Hills. And uh, they are very excited uh, to uh, see mom yeah. and uh, join her. And then uh, it's going to be great. Yeah. So we'll uh, hopefully record some video over there. We're going to be in a suite. Yeah with uh, family and friends yes. to watch this. I think it kicks off at one o'clock, so we better get going. We then. should get going. Let's yeah. take care. Right. Okay. All right, so we're almost on the freeway, and uh, I just wanna talk a little bit, but, um, so usually if I were going to a place like this, where there's gonna be, what, 6,600 people or so? Yes, probably be. Including the students that are graduating? Right, a couple thousand people. Yeah, a couple thousand people, more than that. Yeah. More than that, okay. So uh, usually going to a place like that with that many people would be very stressful for me, uh, considering the fact that I I don't I don't know these people, uh, that majority of people you know, and that would just stress me out. I don't know if you can tell based on my demeanor. I am not really stressed out right now, and that's because the only people I'll have to really interact with are the people um, in the suite with us who I know. And I don't have to really leave the suite, like, at all. Uh, so I don't have to interact with all those people that I don't know. Or even have to walk past them, really. So, I'm pretty good right now. Pretty calm. I'm not that stressed out. Yeah, and just, um, you know, keep us posted as you do, Stephen, on how, yeah, how you're for doing. Sure, and, for sure. You know, oftentimes we'll, we'll take some propranolol with us. You know what? I don't think we did, though. I, we may have some in the car, okay. but we have... Um, there's a couple of the medications that uh, Stephen's psychiatrist has prescribed that he rarely takes now. Yeah, like, on occasion I'll take an Ativan if I'm very stressed out, that works very well. The Panadol helped a bit too, at times. But I don't take it very often, maybe a few times every few months or so, I don't know. Right, it's so... It really uh, depends. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, used to be just up up to, uh, you know, a year, a year and a half ago, Stephen if you'd be out, you know, you might have to take a propranolol or, you know, 20, 20 milligrams of propranolol or an yeah. Ativan. Or even when I'm not out at home, I get stressed out and need to take that. Right. So the Ativan is very helpful to reduce anxiety almost immediately. Almost immediately. It like, works very fast. It's a small amount you would take. I forget yeah. the milligrams. It's, gosh, anyways, I don't want to get it wrong. Yeah. But anyway, so as well, you know, adds one out. I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> And I will keep you posted if I do feel very stressed out later. Right. Oh. And if and if Stephen does start getting stressed out, you know he'll he'll let us know. Yeah. Or mom or me. And, and I would try to remove myself from the situation as best I can, or go talk to my cousin. I'll have two of my cousins there. Uh, that would help a little reduce my stress, so I can maybe move to the other side of the suite or something. I've never been to the suite, so I don't know what to expect. But. Right, so I think that the suite is going to be, uh, there's an indoor area, and then there's an out, outdoor area. Yeah, my dad's been there before. The outdoor area is going to be uh, fairly loud, uh, a lot of activity, so... So yeah, I guess then if I am feeling stressed out, I'll go to the other part of the suite, the inside part. Yeah. yeah. All sounds, right. That sounds great. You're looking great, Stephen, and uh, we're looking forward to a great a great day and a great outing. And yes. This is uh, part of uh, continuing on. It's, it's fantastic. Stephen, you do so well. Thank you. Really, really. It takes a lot of, I know it takes a lot of um, thought and um, concentration. To, to not be too stressed out from this. Yeah, correct. All right, well, we're on the freeway, so we'll be there pretty soon. 
Yes, we'll be there in about 15, 20 minutes. All right, see you then. All right, we are here. I'm just gonna show you what I'm seeing. All right, so we are here. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so we got some VIP parking. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. We are here having a delicious lunch. Uh, pasta fresca and chicken patata. You can see out there, this is the stadium. It's a stadium, so the graduation is going to be uh, closer down to where we're at here. It's pretty nice here, actually. It's very nice. Even nicer than I thought. I didn't know what the picture, but this is really cool. So it kicks off, I think, in about an hour. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling there? Pretty good. Hey, Steven. Okay, so we're we're up at the um, we're up at the American Express Stadium Club. But that is actually not where the yeah, graduate. We were wrong. We were wrong. The the um, the graduation is not going to be in the stadium, which is right behind us. We're coming out of, but it's going to be down there in the tennis the tennis court area. So yeah, so we're heading on down tennis court area. So uh, yeah, let's do it to it. Let's do it. Hey Scott, how you doing? Good day. How are you? Very good. Oh yeah. So, okay. You know I'm rec yeah, I'm recording. Okay, right, so we're here. The tennis court's not the stadium over there like we thought. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So this is awesome. Mom will be down there giving the uh, commencement address. Yeah. It's a nice suite too. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be back. Congratulations, class of 2022. Congratulations. 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 Hey, congratulations. To the entire class of 2022. Hey, guys. How you doing? Can you give me a shout out? Okay, where is she? the red. That's her. That's her. That's her. That's her. Are you scared? Oh man. Get Russell. Oh, yeah. Oh, get it. Get it. Yeah. We got her. Good afternoon. My name is Michael Spagna, and I am the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. It is my honor to welcome you to the 55th commencement ceremonies of California State Commencement. CSUDH student Autumn Morris as she performs the national anthem.
seven daughters, she obtained United States citizenship in 1979. A first-generation college graduate, Ms. Villa attained her Juris Doctorate from Loyola Law School after graduating from CSUDH. Ms. Villa is the principal of the law firm of Lathrop and Villa in Rolling Hills Estates, which she co-founded in 1992. She has a state and federal appellate practice and has practiced in the areas of employment and business litigation and plaintiff's class action litigation. In 1999, Ms. Villa became the first Hispanic attorney to be elected to the State Bar Board of Governors, where she has served as Vice President and Treasurer. Ms. Villa is a founder and member of the Latina Lawyers Bar Association, a member and former president of the Mexican American Bar Association of Los Angeles County, and a lifetime member and former Deputy Regional President of the Hispanic National Bar Association. Among her many awards are the American Bar Association Difference Maker Award, Latina Lawyers Bar Association Trailblazer Attorney of the Year Award, Mexican American Bar Association and Dolores Huerta Foundation Adelita Community Service Award. Ms. Villa currently serves as the chair of the CSUDH Philanthropic Foundation Board and is dedicated to opening the doors of opportunity for students through mentorship and philanthropy. Please join me and a warm welcome for Maria Viet as your commencement speaker. What a glorious day, my fellow Toros. I am honored to celebrate you, class of 2022. Today is a full circle moment for me. Do you recall the first time you set foot on campus? I will never forget arriving on campus and marveling at how I was at a university, the first in my family to do so for generations on end, just like many of you here today. And now I stand before you as a testament to the transformative power of a degree from our university, California State University, Dominguez Hills. transformed my life when I graduated with a degree um, in business administration. My diploma became my golden ticket to a world of opportunities. Having witnessed the injustices my parents experienced, I decided to go to law school. With my Dominguez degree, I achieved my dream of becoming an attorney to help others. My fellow Toros, what opportunities will you seek out with the diploma you received today? The opportunities available, available to me were more than I ever imagined. The foundation I received at Dominguez allowed me to become a leader in my profession, including, as you heard, being the first Hispanic attorney elected to the State Bar Board of Governors. When I look out at the stadium, I see not only future scientists, 
attorneys, nurses, and other professionals. I see innovators, social justice warriors, and C-suite executives. I see leaders. All you have to do is step out of your comfort zone, take a risk, work hard, and aim high. Our university has prepared you to achieve beyond the dreams you hold today. However, there will be setbacks on your journey, just as there has been in mine. After law school, I studied two months for the California bar exam to obtain my license to practice law. Four months later, when I received my results, I was devastated and embarrassed to learn that I had not passed. The bar passage rate that year was 44%, meaning that over half of us who took the exam did not pass. And that was little comfort to me, as this was a huge unexpected setback to my career plans. However, I had not come so far to only go that far. I drowned out the noise and pulled myself together and I charged on towards my goal, studying once more during the two months before the exam was given again. Three months later, I received my results. Again, I did not pass. Another setback, another two months of studying before the bar exam was given again. Three months later, I opened the envelope with my results with a mix of trepidation and confidence. This time, my hard work and perseverance had paid off and I achieved my dream of becoming an attorney to help others. prevent me from pursuing other opportunities or resolving complex legal matters, nor did they impede me from my ability to become a leader and trailblazer in my profession. No one asked me about the bar exam when I was invited to the White House by the Clinton administration as one of the top 100 Hispanic attorneys in the country. When you encounter unexpected obstacles and setbacks on your way to your goals, drown out the noise, pull yourself together, work hard and charge on. We have been blessed with the opportunity to obtain a graduate degree, and for some of us, a postgraduate degree, an opportunity that many of our parents did not have. We truly are our ancestors' wildest dreams. Now it is up to us to help others in the Toro Nation achieve their dreams. So Toros, I leave you with an affirmation. When that self-doubt creeps up, and it will, I want you to remember the following. I am a Toro. I received an outstanding education and the skills I need to take on the mantle of leadership. I worked hard to earn a seat at any table where decisions are made. I will lead with compassion and excellence because I am a Toro. Our world needs you, Toros. Aim high and charge on. All right, so it just ended a little bit ago, and it was actually really cool. Uh, I was talking to some people here who have seen my channel. Uh, actually, staff here. Yes. So that was really cool. Uh, very cool to see that. Uh, I guess what I do have to say is that I wasn't anxious really or stressed out here, but it was kind of sad for me uh, seeing everyone graduate because I never have. From eighth grade, high school, never been to college. That was kind of. A little sad for me, but I got past it, you know. What are you going to do? Just happy for everyone who graduated there today, though. That was, that was cool for them. 
And weirdly enough, I got a bit of deja vu. I don't know why I get deja vu, but I do on occasion. And it kind of felt like I'd seen this before. Of course I haven't. I don't know what to make of that. So, yeah. Anything you gotta say, Dan? Uh, no, I'm just uh, happy to be here with you, Steven. It was a great day. Yeah, it was. Uh, I'll be heading home in a second here. And yeah. All right, so we are in the car heading back home. We're on the freeway right now. And I just wanna talk a little more about this. So, yeah, I was feeling pretty sad whenever I was graduating. Yeah, those are they're they're um, they're unfortunately sad events. I mean, very. I wish Perhaps. everyone well. I wish everyone very yes. well. Don't get me wrong there. But it's sad knowing that I never had that. Probably never will have that. Right. That there is. And I was just telling Stephen that uh, we were just talking about this. That yes. Um, I mean, we live the we live across the street from a high school. Right uh, now they're all graduating and happy. You know. Right, so I was telling Stephen actually this this was less sad for me this graduation than the other ones have been in the last few years. Um, certainly the first five years after Stephen fell ill, all the graduations, you know those those were hard times. You know to hear the high school graduation ceremonies, which we can hear at our home, was just devastating for me personally. I can't even imagine Stephen. I think the first two or three years we actually. Uh, uh, took Stephen out of the house and we were gone, you know, away from the house. That I didn't know. Yes. Uh, I was not well at the time, so nothing I'd remember. Right. But... I think mom, mom would take you, uh, maybe go to, you know, go some other place. Makes sense. So you wouldn't have to hear, you know, hear the graduation because we knew, it, you know, it's just um, tough knowing it's that. It's sad. It's very sad for me. That you lost that, that, you know, part of your life, you know. But, um, you know, yeah, surviving schizophrenia, we're moving forward we're moving forward you know and so this was less sad actually you know i was uh when we were just talking about that um less sad yeah yeah also hope that i was with family and friends right and that my mom wasn't speaking yes yeah so how did you do how did you i mean we were there for about three we were hours there for, I, was, I, I did good you know i wasn't that anxious you know again we're in the box our suite i guess right um not not too big a deal. I was, didn't have to interact with a lot of people. I didn't know until later on, uh, after we went and we talked to uh, a bunch of people. Stephen actually. met President Parham. Yeah, uh, very nice guy. Everyone there was amazing. Very nice people. Yep, and his chief of staff, David, and a number of other people. So Stephen, um, in uh, you know watching that graduation. Yeah. So I think that was three three of the colleges out of the university came together on that graduation. Does that make you, um, you were saying how you feel um, sad. sad. Yeah. Does that make you want to go to college or community college? Okay, now here's the thing. No, no, it does not make me want to go to college any more than I already have any, no, no. The thing is, I know it'd be very stressful for me to go to college. I don't think I could handle that kind of workload, that kind of late nights, uh, that kind of work. I don't know if I can handle that, at least right now. And so, sure, I'm sad that I don't go to college and then I haven't and I don't, I don't have that experience, but at the same time, I don't think I could do it. So no, I don't think that makes me, I'm sad, but it doesn't make me want to go to college. Do you think in the future, um, possibly? It I'm not ruling it out in the future. I could take a class maybe, but I don't think I'd ever graduate. At least I can't see myself doing that as of right now. It's, it seems too stressful for me right now. And right. I'm focusing on YouTube right now as well. Right, so setting aside graduation or any of that, but it's possible that you... Yeah, in I the can future, see myself in the one, future doing one class. some sort of class at college. But I don't know if I'd take it to graduate, per se. Okay. So one thing I did notice is that, you know, Stephen did much better. You know, we were out for three hours than he has previously done. This might be the best I've ever done I think since it, the illness. I think it, I think it is. Yeah. It's the best, you know, not with, I didn't see any anxiety at all. Nope. No, there wasn't anxiety. Just like I said, sadness. So that's, uh, other than, I mean, I, I was going to say, that's great. You know, it's not great that, that you had the no. sadness, but you didn't have the anxiety that is no. that typically you have. We were in a suite, so that was, that uh, helped. That helped. We had food in the suite, and so you didn't have to be sitting in the stands with a bunch of other people. 
So, but anyways, really proud of you, Stephen. And uh, you did great. Thank you, Helm. Looking forward to more, more time out in the future, you know. For sure. So, as you saw, I did very well. A little surprised how well I did. That's the best I've ever done going someplace, especially a place with that many people since the onset of my schizophrenia. That feels good to me to know I can actually do that well. And even though I got sad because I've never graduated from eighth grade or high school or never been to college, I'm happy that I did that well. And I'm very happy for everyone that graduated. That's amazing for all of you. And on top of all that, it was amazing to meet one of my earliest subscribers to this channel, Jasmina. Thank you for supporting me. That was really cool to meet you and talk to you for a little while. And yeah, I hope everyone, all of you rather, uh, enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day. And I hope to see you in the next video.